Hey, joining us now in the Harvey Norman Lounge to share what's really going on in the property market. Please welcome back to the cafe, Squirrels John Bolton. How are you, John? Good, thanks. Always a pleasure to have you. I love talking about houses, one of my favourite <laughs> subjects. Right, what is happening in the property market right now? Um, well, I guess, you know, there's been quite a bit of negative media around house prices, and it would be fair to say, you know, that's reflected on what's going on. Um, right. House sales have dropped. House sales in Auckland are down about 30% year on year. Will, um, they, will, will the prices fall, do you think? Well, they, they, they have fallen a bit. You know, part of the gains that came through last year have definitely gone. Um, but, you know, any talk of a crash, I think, is incredibly premature. Right. Um, the reality is we're at full employment. Um, we've got a booming tourism sector, and, you know, that's pretty obvious in places like Auckland. Um, and, you know, business confidence is high and interest rates are still really low. Um, is, is there a potential that there are some sort of sectors of the industry a little bit nervous? Or Yeah, look, every, I think everyone's nervous. I mean, you, you would be nervous of uh, the prospect of your house price falling or, or interest rates going up. And, you know, the funny thing about interest rates is that everyone keeps thinking that rates will go back to 8 or 9 or 10%. Right. And, you know, with the mortgages we've got these days, there's, there's no way that you, you, you'd cope with that. The reality is that the new normal for interest rates is, is 5 to 6 you know, and um, so it's not all that bad. Do you think that those interest rates have the potential to go up in the future? Well, at the moment, we're still getting interest rates of around four and a half to five percent. You know, so they're still at very low levels historically. The reality is that um, there's no inflation out there, and, and inflation really is a precursor mm. to interest rates going up. Right. And it's just not there. Right. You know, businesses are struggling to make a buck. People aren't getting big wage increases. They might want to, but they're not. Um, Inflation is just not there. You know, petrol prices have come down quite a bit. Just not there. OK, so what should I do? If I've got a mortgage, you know, should I be fixing? How long would I be doing that for? Oh, at the moment, you know, well, probably the first thing is, you know, it actually pays to go out and have a look and right. just make sure that you get a good deal. Um, there's quite a bit of pricing disparity in the market now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, unless you push for it, you're not necessarily going to get great rates. And that, and that can make a huge difference, can't it, to, you know, I mean, if you're planning to pay off a bit more of your mortgage or even just for your weekly living, a, a tiny shift in your percentage of interest rate can make a huge difference to your life. So it is worth checking it out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. look, I mean, a half a percent, you know, on an Auckland mortgage, a half a percent difference in interest rate could be worth about $300,000 over the life of a loan. Right. You know, and yeah. look, it's 25 years and it's a long time, but you've got to eat the elephant at some point. Right. So when we are reviewing the mortgage, what are the things that we need to be looking at? Well, it'd be nice to pay it off, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the dream, isn't it? That is the dream. That's what keeps us going to work yeah. each day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I mean, I, just making sure that you're, you've got a good structure. Right. Um, that you're, you know, you're probably fixing it at the moment, getting a rate of sort of somewhere around 45 to 5%, probably splitting your fixed rate so it doesn't all mature at one time. Right. Um, having a chunk of it on a floating rate or some sort of revolving credit and, and really sort of trying to get stuck into it and, and pay it off. One of the best things that, that I've seen is, is actually taking a part of your mortgage, just a small chunk of it, and really focusing on paying it off first. Right. So bite away. Bite, bite away. You know, eat the elephant in a bite-sized chunk. Because quite often people just have this big mortgage and they look at it and it's too scary. So everything you've discussed here is great advice, but that's pretty much what you can do with Squirrel, isn't it? If people are looking at options and they want to look at their mortgage, Squirrel is a good place to look. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> as, as would... Like I do, yeah. <laughs> as, as, I have, yeah. yeah. As would any, any, any mortgage broker. I think the benefit that you get with a mortgage broker is that they can, they can look across the entire industry and look at all of the options, um, and, and that's really important. Um, what makes Squirrel a little bit different is that the guys are paid salaries. So they're always doing what's right for their client. Right, getting the best for everyone yeah. without being driven by commission. Yeah, exactly. And I, you know, and I really want to say that I have looked a lot at Squirrel and I use them because they've certainly helped me out. So you should go and do the same as well. Thank you very much, John. Some great advice there. Look at he's just dishing it out for free. <laughs> but if you're interested in finding out more about how Squirrel can help you with a mortgage, just head along to their website, squirrel.co.nz.